let's switch here. So yes, when I was trying to figure out what I was going to play tonight, uh, there we go. Because I wanted to take it easy, play some, uh, play some nice and easy games. These two were the two that came to mind. The second game is Assemble with Care. It's, it's a bit of a puzzler. It's a bit of a puzzler and my Steam and my Twitch is not updating. There we are. It, it should have updated now. I hope it has updated. <laughs> um, Assemble with Care was originally released as a mobile game apparently. Um, it's from the same studio that did Monument Valley. And it was released just earlier this year. And it's a puzzle game about putting things together. We can't listen to the cassette tape if we don't plug in our headphones. The game is best played with sound. So I hope you all can hear it, chat. It has a very calming imagery. Monument Valley was so good. Was Monument Valley the one with the crows? Like the little girl and then you had to like sort of switch perspectives a little to, like to, to get her through. It is. Excellent. I did not play two, but I liked one a lot as well. So I have high hopes for Assemble with Care. I, I like these kind of puzzle games anyway, uh, the one where you're supposed to put things together. And supposedly there's a little story. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. So I guess we'll find out. Oh, okay, I can, I can shift it, but I can't, like, pull anything else. Good, good to know. But as my train pulled into the station at Bella Riva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. That actually sounds like a pretty fun lifestyle. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. So let's unpack. Can I get the coffee? The coffee is pause. Well, maybe it's tea. I'm not sure. How, how, how do I? Oh, okay. I turn it around. How, how do I open a suitcase chat? Oh, she is much more neatly packed than I am. I picked up these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully I'm cool enough to pull them off. I saw a guitarist wearing these at a show once. Rock and roll repair woman at your service. 
We can only take out the earrings one at a time. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. That's smart, tying the scrunchie around the hairbrush. My parents took this after I made my first repair. It seems like a lifetime ago. Looking forward to taking more close-ups of my fingers with this. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. She has her stuff packed so much more neatly than I do when I travel. I'll hand these out once I'm settled in. Fingers crossed they get me some work. Passport? My passport. Not many blank pages left now. And a box. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. I can spin the suitcase. Okay, I have to let go of the suitcase to make it stop spinning. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bellariva began with a little girl, and a voice she was longing to hear. We have arrived at Bellariva. This is some really, really calming music. Like, I could just chill out to this. So I'm gonna leave you to chill out to this for a moment while I go get a refill. Be right back.
let's put together a cassette tape player. It, it is some really nice It was nice my music. first morning in Bella Riva, and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. And yes, yeah, some really nice... I, I love the contrast between, like... Like, how do I put this? This is so sharp and defined, right? That the thing is that we have to uh, take apart and put together or whatever. It was my first morn in the main square, meanwhile. Preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. But these story segments just feel... Just have that very... Relaxed feeling to them. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. I tried to fix it myself, but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? There's a metal thing in the way. Let's try. Oh, this is really nice. We're, we're fixing it right there in like the middle of, of the plaza. So, so the background matches. Yeah, it's a really nice presentation here. Um, can I? I can't. Oh, I can't spin it. I have to turn it. I actually have to turn it. Aha! Those batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. Probably because this was originally a mobile game. This is some very easy, uh... Oh, no, 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 come on. We gotta get the metal thing back in. Uh, I can't put you down. But I, I need to work on it. I need to work on that. Yeah. I haven't had to do this in forever. Not, not since cassette tapes stop being a thing. Why did you do that? And it was never that easy. Just went zoomed right back in. Come on, you can do it. Will you dream a dream for me? If I sit by your side and hold you so tight, know that I will always love you, even though we both know that we must say goodnight. Good night, my darling. Well, that's sweet. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. It's my mom. She's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of... a stick of gum, 
three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. We're rich, chat. We're rich. I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious. I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but beneath it all, part of her life had been shattered. A part I wouldn't be able to fix. We got three mismatched buttons. We could buy anything now. I, I do like uh, how smoothly it transitions between how uh, between the 2D of it being like flat on the ground and 3D when when you have it in your hand. My first repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. I do think be because this was originally for Apple, um, the Apple Arcade exclusive, I, I do wonder, would this be more fun if I were doing it by hand instead of by, by mouse? I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. I mean, Dad, she already paid us. We, we got a stick of gum, my dude. We, we were paid in full. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least. Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel, and uh, do you think you can salvage it? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if you're going to pay us, then, then we might as well do something worth being paid for. This is just a foot on a stone. Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. We will try our best. To not have bad glue. Um, so the glue just odd. I'm not clicking or anything. The glue just kind of auto goes where it wants. Like as long as you're in the area where you can put glue. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. Oh, that's... No, dude, no. Teeny bit mean there. She's just seven. <laughs> a totally reasonable amount of glue here. Exactly. It's not like squeezing out all over the place when we put the pieces together. Um, see, you go with do. Am I missing a piece? Oh, okay. No, I'm not. Just... Glue everything. He's gonna have ooze coming out. Like some kind of weird pus. Yeah, this this statue had never break had better never break again by the time we're done with it. I, I want to glue that tiny bit corner like right there you can see it 
I, I, I guess I can't, but I would like Is to. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Well, I mean, if you don't throw the statue on the ground, it will be fine. It will be fine. It'll never break the same way. Yeah. It'll probably break. Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. Oof. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. Sorry. I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late. Again? When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy. To avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. I hope so as well. Little girl lost her mom. You're waiting for the horror twist as he brings me a dead body. Fix it! Can you imagine? We're gonna we're gonna fix a, lef a lifeless My body with day glue. in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. <laughs> Here's the dead wife. I know you want to see a dead husband, but. I was about to go inside when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria. Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. <laughs> Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. We're just going for, for no tact, huh? It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. Ah, yes. Claire, Claire stabbed her husband and then just used necromancy glue to, to bring her dead husband back to life. We never did get to see her husband, and I don't think any anyone ever does. I'm so mad. Now that I'm reminded of it. We were promised dead husband. At least I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some, uh, seasoning tips but it won't connect can you see if you can figure out what's wrong you made the callback so i would get mad <laughs> i actually considered getting um the shape-shifting detective which is a game made by the same people but from what I've seen of it, we will not see a dead husband in there either. Anyway, time to fix the phone. Can, can I turn you? Yes. Yes, I can. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. I'm sure, lady. You 
have 68,665 channel points. You're so close. But also, the, w the way points are earned, you'll pro you probably won't get that perfect nice. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. That, that, that's what we're here for, lady. L let me work. You, you focus on making your cooking better. Ooh, look at how busted that shit is. Looks like this new circuit board is all hooked up. How does she just have a new circuit board handy? You're more upset about not having 68,666. If I had, like, a point reward that used exactly 1,999 points, you could get 66,666. Was there supposed to be a bell? Was there supposed to be a bell inside? I feel like I forgot something here. There was probably supposed to be a bell inside. on some pants but 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 shorts are so much comfier pants I like shorts do you like shorts ah yes bell oh come on you can do it yeah Comfy and easy to wear. My ratata is bigger than your ratata. Wait, 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 you can fit a wallet into a Nerf gun? There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? It depends on the gun. When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. You came back to me making fun of a Rattata with perfect IVs. So I talked vaguely about this during Watchdog last time, right? But but when when I capture Rattatas, they always have to be male, and they need to have a nature that I think uh, focuses on speed. Um, like maybe defense gets to go down. Like it's speed or attack uh, is up, and defense can go go down. But, but it has to sound right. So, so now I'm looking. And 
the Pokemon natures. Uh, so like a hasty Rattata, that makes sense to me uh, because that's speed uh, and, and that's also like increased speed, but like a, t a naive Rattata does not. So, so even though that's increased speed that I would not, I would like mash that one into candy. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. What did you think we did to your phone, lady? That's if I can pay my phone bill, anyway. <laughs> and the rent, and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. Your nature's not power gaming in those types of games? Me neither, Liquid. I, th that's all just for whatever story I have going on in my head. That a Rattata has to be like this. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. I hope she's not asking for coffee advice. Hello! How's my favorite sister doing today? Did I just say knee meter or did your brain just short circuit? Now I'm questioning myself. As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here, though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. My sister's decided to fly in for a visit. Oh god, I have to get ready. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? The next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. Are you sure we have to fix the camera? Maybe what we have to fix is just the cafe. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. You hear about the camera? It's about time. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Is the game about to tell us we have to fix their relationship? Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. <laughs> Get the clue. We're, we're gonna bond them together, literally. Yes, so the premise of this game is that we're a traveling handy, uh, handy person. So we take things apart and we fix them. This was originally an Apple Arcade exclusive, um, so if it seems like it would do very well uh, with a touchscreen, that's because it would. I don't suppose you've fixed anything this valuable before. Well, no wonder it's dark. We just have a spare mirror lying around. Hey, hey get, get back there. If I use the screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. Oh no. That's why the sheet is here. This requires precision. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. Um, 
There has to be a reason we can take apart, like, all of this, right? Viewfinder's working, but... It, it's just letting me go ahead and, like, take apart everything. Th this might be a little much. I don't need to take apart this much, do I? Yeah, I didn't need to take the lens out. <laughs> I only needed to replace the mirror and, and then add, add film. We're pretending like we worked much harder than we actually did so we get paid more. We need more buttons. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. The first of its kind. It cost me three months salary. But it was worth it. I had no idea what three months salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. It was strange, really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? She took some test shots, fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. I, I'm still stuck on three months' salary for, for that camera. I'm trying to calculate how much that would be. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. Close the windows? Sending you to me might be- She took some test shots. But sending you to me might be the first. I hear nothing from her. That didn't sound good. But we need Hurricane fresh Helena air. Helena was about to hit. I hoped Carmen was ready. Ooh, Hurricane Helena. We have to fix the store sign. The sun was setting over Bellariva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. This might explain the lack of customers. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? That looks like ice cream. All right. Let's fix a sign. seem like you go there like like here do I have to glue you I have to glue you welcome back Robbie 
This is Assemble with Care. It is a puzzle game that was originally made for Apple Arcade. And, um... It's by the makers of the people, uh, by the makers of Monument Valley. We use a lot of glue. Glue that just disappears once we, st we stick the thing on it. Oh no. Uh... I mean, I, I, I'd imagine that we'd have to... Y you can stay there. That looks right. But we have two extra wires for some reason. What happens if I push the button? Yeah, that's fine. I don't know, it's a bit... Uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes, it'll really catch people's eye. Carmen. Great idea. <gasps> I think I have a spare part that could do that. Oh. That's why we have extra wires. You know what this vaguely reminds me of? Um... One of those Zaktronic games. Hmm... It still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. We have a choice. We can add ice cream, we can add a martini, or we can add a slice of pizza to Carmen's sign. Does Carmen seem like an ice cream kind of lady? Like a pizza... like a pizza partier. Or is she a gimlet gal? I've like thrown so much glue on this. Also, why does she just have these around? That actually looks nice. The glass sort of, sort of completes the circle. But I want to see how that lights up. It works! I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. Oh no you don't. I, I want to see what the martini one looks like first. Let's stick with pizza. Poor ice cream is just getting ignored. There's still a part I need to attach. Where does it go? Okay, I can just I can just un unplug the thing. That seems real safe.
Now I want pizza. The sign fixed, we headed outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. I'm sorry that the pizza you had was left over Papa John's. Has the reckoning arrived for you, Will? Of course. My sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Wait, I just fixed the sign! And with that, she disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. This is breaking my immersion. We put a pizza in here, not ice cream. Is this? Can, did we get to fix the game console? It was the day before the festival and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. I barely reached their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly! It's top secret! It was Izzy, peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. Dirt is fun. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't oh, do no. it on purpose or anything, but it uh, won't turn on anymore. Izzy, are you really a disaster? Did, did you break the Game Boy? Can you fix it for me? Oh, that's cute, Izzy. How do you break the button on one of these things? Like the screen I get, but the button... Why does it sound so scary? It wasn't like that before. I want to do that again. It still sounds really bad. And again. It still sounds really bad. Okay, okay, I'll stop. Okay, we have a broken music chip here. Seriously, look at this button. How do you crack it so badly? Let's get that button in there. Uh... Oh, that's the screen. What is this? It's gonna come into play later, isn't it? Oh, that's what that is. Um, hmm. 
That is connected to the light. Two is connected to music. And one is connected to the power. Now let's focus on this side. Oh, no, I need that open. And again, three is to the light, two is to music, and one is to the power. And Forest Adventure. That looks like a cute game. Do grown ups play games as well? They absolutely do, Izzy. Can you show me how to play? I did <gasps> it before, but it was so hard. Oh no! Oh no! This is a very simple game. Am I going to have to do something with the word? I have to take a picture of the bird. Congratulations! I did it, chat! I did not play the game bad in front of the child. I did not embarrass myself in front of the child. Her toy fixed. I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Oh, that's a dick move. Why would he think that? Because, uh, well, I kind of dropped it really hard at the wall. That's also a dick move, is he? You dropped it really hard at the wall. <laughs> you have expected for that game, bird's game. Uh, so did I, honestly. <laughs> Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. My dad said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. Okay, Izzy, the stupid dress part is fair, but there's gonna be food. G go eat the food. With that, Izzy dove back through the rosebush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me. Maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. I still can't believe she dropped it really hard at the wall. You distinctly remember not being nearly as convinced by food as a child as you now are as an adult. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> the wall was asking Leaving for Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. The wall wanted to turn to play too. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? I was uh, repairing a lawn mower. How unusual. Well, do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. Back then, all food was free. Now only some food is free. Ah, yes! We appreciate food more now because only some food is free now. 
totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So this was his office. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. He's looking forward to eating. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bella Riva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Did Izzy drop this against the wall too? Really hard? Gonna take apart everything. No, I, I can't take the Oh the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. The cogs look good though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Everything about this watch is broken. Yeah, may maybe her father <laughs> maybe her father is where she learned this from then. I just want the cogs. You, you can go away now. You are no longer cogs. Okay, that definitely does not go there. That doesn't connect. Am I sure that's the right one? I don't think so. Hey, come on. There. We did a thing and put it together. That doesn't seem to be done, though. Ah. It's all spinny now. it will all fit back together. Yes, so long as you don't drop it really hard against a wall anymore. I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. So it was definitely Joseph who dropped it really hard against a wall. back to Joseph. My fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. 
And when I do, she acts like she hates me. You might want to talk to her. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. Do we need some glue for this father-daughter relationship, too? As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. A projector! That will be interesting. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see. Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out. Or at least I am. Carmen's not helping. As usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. I mean, that that's not a bad idea, but... But do you have her permission? She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? I, I mean, sure, but also... Please, please don't sell the thing. Without your sister saying okay first. Oh, typical. Carmen's even managed to get a slide stuck in here. Well, no, I, I would like to get the slide. light bulb is completely smashed. Can I take anything out? Warning. Beware electricity. Okay. Uh, no, I want you. I want to take the slide out. How do I take the slide out? I cannot take the slide out. Alright, well, let's put the light bulb in first. Okay, I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. Oh, more mirrors! I am super delicate. That looks like it hits. It's a little hard to be finicky with like the mouse. Oh, okay, no, it will auto go there. seeing the light come through. Still a few parts missing. 
<laughs> in lowercase. Oh, okay, yeah. I see. How, how do I get it up top, though? Because it, it's supposed to go like that, right? But I don't see the light coming up. I can take the mirror out of the socket? Yes, I can. Oh, wait, no, 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 I know what you're talking about, Will. I know what you're talking about. Looks like something- I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Will There's solving puzzles for me. To attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Carmen, please don't ever touch the Game Boy. Um, no, it, it's got to be here. Wire. And and you attach, right? I think I've missed a screw somehow. Can I connect it like this then? The music has stopped. My chill jams have stopped. I am now Helena. No, no, I am now Carmen. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to connect that. I think I've missed a screw somehow. Is it just not going to let me until I screw everything back in? Maybe. Connect you though. That seems like the right one. And the clicker just sort of feeds these slides in. What is the picture you're showing again right now? There's probably supposed to be an order. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Come here. You go in there. And then you attach there. Just looking for a slide to take in there. When we were younger, Carmen was always following me around. I suppose she looked up to me. A cool older sister. Yeah, it didn't highlight, and everything else has been highlighting when I mouse over it correctly. She used to ask me when I was coming home. But I was always too busy. We didn't see all the slides, but I will take the win. Helena was transfixed, staring at the two young sisters the projector had brought glaringly into focus. 
I... I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. Always the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I Ooh. have nothing. That, that sounds like a discussion you want to have. Common thinks I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> What if I lose her too? Then she's a sucky sister and this game is not turning out the way I expect it to. Let's be real. We have the magic bonding group. They'll be fine. The day of the festival finally came and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? Are you about to fail top shelf, Carmen? Helena was supposed to help me run the stall today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me. Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. Uh, by, by saying she lied to you, I assume she told you that she has no money. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? She did. Carmen doesn't seem like a great sister right now. <laughs> yeah, she, she's not a great customer either, huh? It's our day off, lady. Um, I think we go here. And you all hold the pot up. And that's it all the fits. burner part. Now to light the gas. Let me, let me light the match. I want to light the match. I mean, the gas is nice and all, but I want to light the match. How, how do I light the match? Okay, that lit for a moment there. I don't know if we want to leave this lying on its side. It'll be fine. No, I don't think it'll be fine. That's a problem. I 
think that pot is really boiling now. It smells great, if I say so myself. <laughs> it's all good, perfectly safe. Yes, we're gonna blow Here up the, the town square. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? One pint of stock. Quarter stick of... How do we know? Which is the quarter stick? Like, I'm pretty sure it's quarter stick of butter. Then half a <laughs> broccoli florets, handful of chopped tomatoes, three well, <laughs> and plenty of. <laughs> Alright, let's let's say that's like a quarter. A, a, a stick of butter. Then half of a carrot. I, how do you know how much half of a carrot is? Like, can't, can't we just chop? And, and, like, figure out half from there? Sorry, not carrot. Uh, two broccoli florets. So that, that one's like the only easy one. A handful of chopped tomatoes. That looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. But that's a handful, right? It turned green when we put the, the broccoli in. Uh, three wild murder. So that's these are cut into halves. So that's one, two, and three, and plenty of who knows what that is. But the only thing left is onions. So I don't like the super ready. I don't like onions. <gasps> I've turned the soup purple. I've turned the soup purple by putting so many onions in. <laughs> w would it be bad if I fucked up the soup by like putting more ingredients in? It's become borscht, but without any beets whatsoever. <laughs> like, can we just drop like an entire whole fucking tomato in there? We only dropped two tomatoes. It said handful. How many tomatoes can you hold in a hand? And like, I dropped two cubes, two big cubes of butter. But... Or, or whatever this is. This might not even be butter. It might be cheese. Carmen's the worst customer, but let's, like, not <laughs> ruin things for her on purpose. I'm not ruining things for her. I want to make sure we're following this recipe exactly. It it's a little hard. It's a little hard, but I'm trying my best here. Oh, her recipe is a bit smudged. Never mind, I'm sure whatever I put in will be fine. Everything will be fine. All right, uh, well, we can, we can taste test, I guess. I of new wing of bat. That's what this My is part missing. Done, Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? Oliver Twist liked the soup. Well, 
You've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. I I excuse me, I had a hand in making that soup. I also had a hand in making that soup. Can I also get a share of whatever the prize is? Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. Yeah, it was totally Olivia Twist. Eat line, word for word, that was the line. Well, no, I guess the actual line, the actual line is, May I have some more, please? She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, know, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years. I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. Oh, they did have the money talk. Oh, oh, you know what? You're right, you're right. Please, sir, may I have some more? And then he gets tossed out. It, it's been, it's been years. The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bella Riva behind. It might vary in book versus musical. I did not know there was an Oliver Twist musical. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Maria, Maria, my favorite sous chef, come on through. It was Carmen acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be. If the Are You For Real is about me not knowing there was a musical, yes, I, I, I honestly did not know there was a musical. My exposure to, to Oliver Twist was through the Dickens... Uh, it was through an illustrated version um, of, of the book. But I've also never really been much for musicals. Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. Yeah, if you need a job, your sister is a business owner now. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts. But then she didn't have much left for herself, so... I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. She sold her stuff. Okay. Okay. Much better. That, that, that's acceptable. I wanted to give her this to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? It's long, but also one of the best movie musicals. That that would explain a lot because okay, I'm not much of a movie person, Robbie. Turn this on. Oh, oh, I have to turn it on. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. I love the little broken sound effect. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. That's the benefit of the mean villain not singing, so therefore it's ten times more scary. Um, here's the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. Vi by villain, you mean Fagin, right? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. No, that, that, that seems fine where it is. Uh, that's power. That also seems fine where it is. And 
then that connects to that here. That's the speed dial connected. Now we should be able to change it. Clendaria with the raid. What? What? Why did the alert not show? Huh? I'm sorry about that. That. There we go. Oh wait, no, that's just a follow. <laughs> But thank you for the raid! How was your stream? What were you playing today? Hi Cube, how are you? Hello Waffle Master! Hello Dance, and thank you for the follow, Dance. Alien- Alien Isolation! Well, you have come from a spooky game to, to a chill game. Don't- Don't say that, Will. Wilshaw's saying that's a good one because he likes me being spooked. Will is terrible. Will is so terrible, I'm bad-mouthing him. <laughs> I have not played it, but, but I am freaking out over the evil within, so I'm not sure if that's wise. The speaker isn't connected properly. It's still broken. I should check the wire. Look at that, look at that. It really is still broken, Pants. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. You were a warrior. I am proud of you, Clan. Yeah, it, it's still broken because that light is red. Because 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 I connected it wrong. But yes, Dang, um, that should do it. This record should play beautifully. If if you guys like watching people play spooky games, horror games, definitely go give Clendaria a follow. She plays horror games. She speeds runs some of them. She had a pretty successful run at uh, ESA just the other day, actually. And and she has a pet snake. She has the most beautiful pet snake. His name is Kratos. You, you, you gotta go see the pet snake. So yeah, give give Kl 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 give Kondaria a look. Will telling me to not play <laughs> Alien Isolation. Pants saying I should play Alien Isolation. Zintoxy saying Alien Isolation is a mildly stressful game. Only mildly. Hey, Hordian, how are you? Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spheres can turn things around. Oh, no, no, I liked how bad that sounded. That was hilarious. Okay. If I turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. Let's turn that volume up. Yeah, Klundari has absolutely a beautiful snake. Your favorite live action movie musicals as a child was The Sound of Music and Oliver, Robbie. I've seen The Sound of Music. I've not seen Oliver. Uh, like, like I, I did not realize Oliver was a thing until just today. Uh, 7W0, so it's gotta be this one. I I'm disappointed we did not have to use glue. Everything's good? Everything's good? Yeah? Let's give that a try. There's still a part I need to attach. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to attach the important part. The cable. Have a good night. <laughs> Have a good night, dead cell. Thank you for stopping by. I might be frustrating Pants a little bit <laughs> with how airheaded I'm being here. Let's try it now. Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check its turning. What will the remain speed. of these days? As sweet as one. <laughs>
Nothing to win or to lose On the lonesome path Oh, I want the song to finish. <laughs> the record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. You had a three-hour walk with a friend, then sushi with a friend, and then a big old nap with a friend. That sounds like a really good day, Hordia. The first song in Oliver is all about food. It's literally called Food, Glorious Food. That, that sounds right for Oliver's Twist. Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years. Inseparable, once again. Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. But the silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. Now you want to watch both those movies, Robbie. I feel like you totally should. Make a day of it tomorrow. It was a very cozy nap. That sounds cozy. I, I would like cozy. <laughs> Does this game contain feels? It's got some feels. Bo both of our games today have feels. We started off with a short visual novel um, about a transgender woman wanting to go to a hot springs. We are beginning to hit the feels. Well, we we've been hitting the feels part of this game. My final morning in Bella Riva. I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack, but I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. Please don't have dropped your Game Boy against a wall really hard again, Izzy. Please don't have dropped your Game Boy against a wall really hard again. When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. The cassette deck is going to be dropped really hard. You've made quite the impression. Isabel, <laughs> Izzy, tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. I'd love for Izzy to hear it sing again. Can you help? That's a picture of them in the music box. Let's go fix things. We used our magic relationship repair glue on them. Man, I would like relationship repair glue. Now to use it on the music box. It's, literally, it's really right there. We are going to use relationship repair glue. How do I push button? I want to push the button. Took out the drawer. Oh no, no, that's a wind up key. Are you, oh, you're screwed.
Maria, could you add this family picture of us? Game, you spoiled it. That picture was already in there when, when we started this puzzle. Um, okay. How... Oh, here we are. And turn it this way. I'm, I'm not sure that did what I was hoping it would do. I was trying to get at the inside. Oh, okay, it, it did what I was hoping it would do. Uh, no. Well, I guess first let's glue. I'm supposed to be fixing this thing, but I'm not sure how. If it won't let me... This mechanism is completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart there we before go. I can fix it. Ooh, yeah, look at that. How do we have the exact melody? So in case in case you're not you don't did not know how uh, music boxes work. It plays but when when these bumps um, hit these tines. How do we have the exact melody that was in the box? Ooh, look at that gear. It's all cracked. That that makes no sense. I call shenanigans on that one. Less thinking, more fixing, says Pants. Uh, I, I think that's what we needed to do for this. I'm not being paid to stand around and criticize. Can, can I test that out now? That sounds like it works. What is this? That that's real nice. Now I want to put that here. Is that was that the right thing to do? What happens when I test it out now? Yeah, the the bird is on the other side. I'm not I'm not sure that's that's what's supposed to happen. Here. Oh. Yeah, the bird should be like this, shouldn't it? No. Oh, okay, apparently not. How do how do I get the bird to show right side up though?
And that drawer went in there. I, I still don't think that's right, but maybe it just pops up? No, it, it's not right. I, I don't put glue. I can't, I can't rotate the whole bird platform. <laughs> Urge to spoil intensifies. Oh no! I'm breaking pants. I've never managed to break pants before. Glue can solve every problem. Ah yes, our trusty glue. I didn't break pants during Mass Effect. I, I don't just put the bird in there first. How do I break pants? Well, if you use them long enough, then slowly a hole starts to wear, like in the middle, where your legs meet. Or, or maybe, maybe you just get a little too big for them. You get a little too big for them. Yeah, it, it just automatically goes upside down when I start when I uh, move them in there, so... Everything else seems fine. But then it rips, not breaks. Isn't a rip a kind of break? The gears. <laughs> Oh, poor pants. Hi, Derp. You, you hate breaking pants. Pants? Pants breaking are hard to deal with. Yes, I agree. Away now. No, yeah. Did I? Mm. I was wondering, did I not know? But they don't really touch, do they? Because of how they're aligned. You can break steel armor pants. No, that's exactly what I did before. But that seems a little too low now. back here. That seems right. No, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. I don't think I can flip the cogs. But no, that, that can't be it either. Yeah, it doesn't connect. Yes, there we go. Now they're all turning. 
Perfect. The mechanism is good as new. Let's make sure they pop out before I put, like, screw this whole thing back in again. There we go. Oh, that's cute. missing. Don't, don't still a few parts missing me, Maria. I've worked so hard. I think that's everything back together again. I should say. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed, but I always worked too late to join them. Will you dream a dream for me? Or sit by your side and hold you so tight? Know that I will always love you, even though we both know that we must say good night. Good night. I've missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. I've ended up so much like my own father, working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. Especially now, it's just the two of us. My daughter comes first. Well, not until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad, anyway. I'll never ever get bored of you, Dad. Oh. Izzy came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I've never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me. I'm so glad to have them back. Does... does that include the Game Boy? Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something right. He doesn't need to know... He needs to know about the Game Boy! She broke the button on that thing! My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they taught me so much about what was really important. Stop being a narc. <laughs> We're not sticking around anyway. <laughs> Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. The day I left. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them. To apologize. It was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Once again, chat, how do you open a suitcase? This is new. Got our clothes in there. Elena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. What, Helena, you could have sold them. Make some money. My train ticket. Can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. The soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. We have... A stegosaur! Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. <laughs> you don't just sell gifts? No, 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 no. So, so Helena had no money and she sold her camera to get money. She should have sold her designer shirts too. 
We got extra clothes from her. We didn't need extra clothes is what I'm saying. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. A history of watches. Well, no, that should be lost. The recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. I... I think the smudges will do plenty for that. My parents would love Bellarina. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. My parents would love Bella Riva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip, she said. But by then she'll the have left. The suitcase was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bella Riva behind, but I hoped that in my own small way I'd made a difference. Elena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us. But I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Did I even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? Is another game for the books. Let's tab out for a bit to to lower the volume on this. That was assemble with care. It was really sweet, yeah. Achieved the feels. There's more! Carmen's letter. Really, Carmen? We've left the city and you still want us to search sh fix shit for you? Carmen is the worst customer. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognize her. She's like a new woman. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, but each to their own. It certainly made the customer smile. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. I like the blue highlight here of the lights against her. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. And, and same for the lighting outline here. 
It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Oh no, oh no. Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. Oh no. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. Oh no. <laughs> This time our pause is a cookie instead of tea. All right, all right. Let's try to put her in the coffee machine together for her. I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. It's fixing it that's the problem, not taking it apart. Oh, it's steamy. These pipes look pretty simple. I should start with them. <laughs> simple, she says. Oh, I wish Maria was here. She'd know how to put these pipes together. Eat the cookie? The cookie is our pause button. This is what happens when I eat the cookie. steam oh I'm getting soaked that is probably not the right one that steam doesn't look good there must be something wrong with the pipes <laughs> after this game this is simple like eating the cookie yes the cookie we can't eat After this game, are you a certified repair tech? I'm going to declare you a certified repair tech. Eh. Okay. I'm guessing? I, I don't think I can put that pipe there. Oh no, that was wrong. There we go. Finally, no more steam. Who just sends you a fucking ca coffee maker? With like, all the parts broken up like this. Have I ever played House Flipper or like a game where you clean and uh, fix homes? I have not. Okay, Let, let's follow these lines. So I think the light is the one down there. No, that was wrong. The lights are blinking red. screws to unscrew and I can totally unscrew them ah that's why okay well uh, l let's just make it a straight shot power is one uh, the light is two, cup is three. Power is one. No, 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 tank, get back Finally, in there. Finally, no more steam. 
And light is three. This is an Ikea coffee machine. Yeah, like, all, I thought, like, coffee makers were generally already assembled. Is she just, like, buying them off the market, like, needs to be repaired by you kind of thing to, to get it cheap? I can be taught, I yes. everything. Better test the buttons, just to make sure. I want to push the button. There's the steam. There's the water. All done. Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Wait, you offered us coffee and you've never made coffee. We have to make coffee. We we have to make coffee. Oh no. Where where, where do I put the to make it look magical world record yes greedy I, I i have learned how to put together a coffee machine and now i will learn how to make latte art we're gonna turn you this way This is not really making latte art for me. I'm trying to be avant-garde here. And, and it's not really working for me. Make a kitty. Mmm, a perfect coffee. All it needs is a saucer and a couple of Helena's favorite biscuits. W wasn't I supposed to make art? <laughs> We're trying to make sure I can draw anything obscene. What are you taking me for, liquid? Yes, this is truly art. I'm spilling the milk everywhere, yeah. Intentionally. Uh, I have not seen when Marnie was there. Is that what you're up to for your Ghibli thought, Greeny? There, avant garde. I am a certified barista. Look at that perfect dash. I was feeling more has-been than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit, uh, mm, postmodern, but knowing Helena's refined tastes, I hope she'd think it was intentional. You couldn't finish when Marnie was there, it was so shit. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it, it couldn't even be saved by the pretty animation? Always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. Steamed up her glasses, of course. How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? Yeah, I worked really hard on that line. When she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. She decided it was probably a horse. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Uh, yeah. I, I, I totally drew a horse there, chat. She, she got it in one. It, it was a horse. 
she was impressed enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realized how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. It made me realize how much I have to thank you for, so I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never. <laughs> <sighs> Hoping you're well. Your friend, Carmen. Carmen is canceled for this one. Oh. And, and that was Assemble with Care. It's sweet. I liked it. I had fun. I'm still flabbergasted about this one. It was the day before the I barely reached the front door Can I skip when I this it was busy. She led me through to You have to squeeze past I hadn't planned on crawling on the table inside. Can you fix it? There we go. How do you break the button of a Game Boy? How? You were seeing that at work, Green. Oh no. She dropped it really hard into a hammer. It was through hard work and determination. Sometimes people put something heavy on it, and if it's brittle, it just cracks <laughs> with concentrated effort. Why does it sound so scary? It wasn't like that before. Because you dropped it really hard against the wall, Izzy, that's why. She dropped it, in her own words, she dropped it really hard against a wall. But yes! That is it for today's stream. Uh, let me just catch up on chat a little here. Um, the female character of Barney uh, was there, has an oh, woe is me personality and insulted people who were trying to help you, and then she did nobody likes you. So, yeah, th those characters are hard to relate to. I, I, I can see why you, you might not like that. Did we find Carmen San Diego? No, no, we did not. Is that a game I might want to play for stream? No. No, it is not. It is definitely not. And I have not said what game is on the list for, for Mondays, Wednesdays, starting next week. So that will be your surprise. I, d I have thought about it. I do have something planned. But I haven't said what yet. No hints, nothing. Just, just surprise. For now, have a great night, guys. Thank you for sticking with me for two lovely little short feeling games. One Night Hot Springs, which again, I would strongly recommend if, if you enjoyed. Go ahead, check out their itch.io page, give the sequels a look. Um, and, and One Night Hot Springs itself is free on Steam if, if you want to get those chivos. I, I got an achievement for getting, uh, for getting endings, so, you know, if that's your jam. Um, and then Assemble with Care. Bo both lovely, lovely feeling games. But for now, have a great night. I'm going to go toss you guys over at Punchy because... Uh, he's playing Hypnospace Outlaw, and what better way to ruin mood than <laughs> with a vaporware game? Have a good night. We will see you on Friday for more for more vampire game in which I do poorly at at RPA. <laughs>